Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of this Manchester United Football Manager Save. So in today's episode, we're going to talk about games that I covered and games to come. So I'm going to talk about the games that I covered now. Uh, West Ham, we beat them 3-1 away from home. And we also beat Burnley 2-1 away from home as well. And the effect that's had on the table is this. So we're level on the amount of games that we've played, me and Liverpool. However... I am three points clear and it's looking like Liverpool aren't going to drop any points anytime soon. Because it may go down to the wire, I feel like the only way we can separate ourselves from Liverpool is if we beat them the second time around. So in today's episode, I'm only going to cover from Real Madrid up until I would say Brentford. So the first leg against Real Madrid and then all the way up to the, the uh, I think it's a home game. Yeah, home game against Brentford. I'm going to cover then. So guys, I have a brand new head of youth development. He's uh, Darren Russell. He came from Derby County. Uh, his preferred formation is 4-2-3-1. And a uh, tactical style is Jurgen Press. Okay, so we're going to be going into this game against Real Madrid at the Santiago Bernabeu. It is the first leg of the quarterfinals. Uh, we are coming into this game really bare bones. We have a lot of defensive injuries. We have a few players coming back as well. And we have a few players that aren't available for the matchday squad too. So with that being said, we have to play McTominay at right centre-back. He's going to be a ball-playing uh, defender and he's going to be a stopper as well. And we have to move Twanzibi over to the right-hand side where he's going to be a wing-back but defensive. So as you can see, there's a lot of players that are on support that will normally be on attack. So Goiri, he's going to be on support. I'm going to try to get Diallo to support a bit. We have a, a boxer box as usual. We have a more of a defensive ball winner, mid, ball winner midfielder in Bellingham. And Fernandez is an advanced playmaker, but he's going to support a bit more as well. Okay, so we've kicked off now. Uh, we have an early attack for Real Madrid. Oh my God, Tuan Zibi's conceded an early penalty, it seems. We only just got kicked off. Why is this guy so clumsy? It was very obvious he was going to give the penalty. Okay, so uh, Mbappe up against David De Gea. He's not known for his penalty saving. And Mbappe has opened the lead for Real Madrid. Really poor start. Twanzibi, I just don't know what he's doing. Okay, so we're in half time now. We are 1 0 down. There was no highlights after that penalty. And as you can see, we, we are being completely dominated in the chance creation department. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we've not had many shots. We've only had two on target as well. And possession is not looking too great for us. Okay, so we have a highlight now in the 61st minute. Uh, McTominay brings the ball out from the back, has Ahmad Diallo. He's caught by Bonucci. Look at the squad that they've built. Uh, has Benzema, Bonucci, Alaba. Plays up the field into Mbappe. His cross. Just moving the ball around patiently. Very patient as well. Look how patient they are on the ball. And my players can't get anywhere near them. Twanzibi keeps pressing up and he's coming out of position. He's always coming out of position. Okay, so we have another highlight now, the 70th minute. Uh, we have the ball. There's Luke Shaw, Renato Sanchez into Bellingham. Sanchez, come on, Luke Shaw. Put a ball in. Calvert Lewin. Oh my days. How many times are we going to do that? So, guys, as you can see, we ended up losing 1 0 to Real Madrid, which was really frustrating. Uh, we have a lot of average performances out there. Uh, one being Fernandez with a 6.3, uh, Ahmad Diallo with a 6.1, Van der Beek as well, 6.4, 6.4 from Guerri as well. Twanzibi did give away that penalty. It is quite annoying that I had to play him out of position, but in the second leg, we will have Wan Masaka there or Ethan Laird if he's back from his injury. So, guys, the next game is against Leeds United at home in Old Trafford. So, we do have our partnership back in Varane and Twanzibi. I'm really happy to see. Uh, those two partnering again. We have Ethan Laird back into the side. Um, let me see if wan is around the, the team as well. Yeah, he's on the bench. Um, in fact, I'm going to him, give him some game time as well. So, yeah, Aaron wan is going to start. And then we have Sancho linking up with him uh, down that right-hand side. We have the midfield partnership between Sanchez and Bellingham. And we have Bruno at the, the tip of the, the midfield at number 10. And, uh, yeah, we are looking quite strong going into this game. So yeah, I'm going to click Submit Team and uh, do my team talk and I'll see you on the other side. There's a wan -Bissaka, Sancho, Arthur, Gori with the header. Come on, that needs to count. If that doesn't count, I'm going to be so upset. What a ball. 
awarded there we go we are leading what a goal so sancho heads it down to the offer he picks out a lovely ball into gory he heads it at the far post and it goes in okay so we have a throw in on the left hand side well done when basaka gets it cleared come on we need to do more ailing on the right hand side puts a ball in moffy with the header really close they are coming really close it's like once we scored our goal they just woke up and realized they need to score as well sanchez oh, he's gonna shoot i knew it i just knew he was gonna shoot you could tell okay guys we ended up winning one nil against leeds united and uh, if you take a look at the table we are in a fantastic position uh, we have 90 points so we're six points clear because we have played a day uh, a day earlier than Liverpool. So what that means is we are in a really good position. Like I said, we have five games remaining. So we need those 15 points out of 15. Uh, if that's what we need to do to ensure we don't drop any points and lose the title to Liverpool, then uh, yeah, we need to get that done. Our obstacles are Liverpool. Uh, we do have City again. And then we have Arsenal. Uh, oh, I hate this message. Anthony Martial has been dropping hints that he wants a new challenge. He's been saying he feels he's achieved everything he can and he might be considering a move. It's going to be a really shitty situation losing Martial. But at least you guys can see I have not forced him out of the club even though he's been in poor form uh, since December. Uh, I have tried to keep him inside the team. I've tried to get him back into uh, his normal self. Uh, yeah, it's just not worked out. But that's not even his reasoning for wanting to leave. He feels like he's accomplished everything at this club so we're gonna be on a search for a striker in the summer so yeah i need to add that as one of the the targets so coming into this game i am going to deploy arthur on the right hand side of the midfield partnership with uh sanchez we do have van der beek at cam bruno does need resting i'll bring him on in the second half uh twanzi we needed to rest so we have to bring in mctomney he's going to be playing as a stopper so we've kicked off now and I really hope that we take advantage of being at home at the moment. So 20 minutes in, not much to report on, not many highlights. It does seem a bit even at the moment. We don't have as much possession as we're used to. And we do have a corner at the moment. The ball's put in by Sancho, cleared out by Real Madrid. Sancho again. Oh, come on. Diallo, shot by Renato Sanchez is wide on the left post. He has Nacho Fernandez, he throws it out. His Vinny Jr. into Valverde, back into Vinicius. Oh my god, this guy's causing problems. Well done, Luke Shaw. Gets a foot to it and a shot by Mbappe. Almost catches De Gea off guard. Ah, before we could even start the second half, this guy is already hampered with injury. Oh my days. Uh, so we're going to have to bring on Aaron Wambasaka. We do get a lot of changes because it is Europe. Uh, but that's quite annoying. Okay, so yeah. Second half is now underway properly now. After us having to take off Ethan Laird. We do have a highlight to talk about. So uh, here's Diallo. Loses the ball to Mbappe. Benzema gives it back to Mbappe. Oh my god, what's about to transpire? What's about to transpire? Oh, decent. Oh my god, what is going on? Why was he so quick to get onto the rebound? So, I'm gonna think about making some changes now. So, Amina is gonna come on. Uh, we're gonna have him on the left as an inverted winger. Sancho moves off to the right as an advanced playmaker. I'm probably gonna deploy Bruno as a second striker now just to add that extra, um, extra firepower up, up front. What was it? There's Wambasaka. Plays up the field into Calvert-Lewin. Nice ball in behind by Sancho. Into Calvert-Lewin. Dominic Calvert-Lewin dinks the keeper. Courtois is left in no man's land. And now we are 2-0 up. What a finish. What a finish by a number nine. Oh, not this again. We're playing out the back. When, when you know a highlight starts with David De Gea, something bad may transpire. But let me let me have a bit more faith in my team. Uh, so here's Guri into Calvert-Lewin. Donny van der Beek to Sancho has wan -Bissaka. what is he doing why did he do why did he do that they're coming back on the counter attack so Mukiele throws it out gives it away has a Guri van der Beek chops and shoots van der Beek is the best he is the best in the world there's no way you can now let me tone it down but the way he chopped just now and shot that was spectacular oh my god chops bang 
maybe it isn't a chop. The animation looked like a chop. We're gonna go with that he chopped and then shot. Oh, guys, I don't know how we've done it. I really don't know how we've turned that around. We done it the last uh, the last time, and we've done it again. So we have won three 0 against Real Madrid on the return leg. Uh, we did suffer two injuries. Mbappe got injured himself. Uh, yeah, we have a lot of uh, greens on the field, except Fernandez. He did come on a bit late, but Donny van der Beek, what a guy! So, guys, we are in the semi-finals of the Champions League now, and we will be playing against Donny van der Beek's former club, Ajax. Okay, so yeah, like I was saying to you guys before earlier on, it is gonna go down to the wire if you actually take a look at our running compared to theirs. I think the only team that is a threat to them is Tottenham and uh, yeah they're not really having a brilliant season they are seventh place just about and uh, we do have Liverpool Man City and Arsenal in our way of this title race at the moment so guys that's it for today's episode uh, yeah do expect me to continue to upload frequently I am enjoying this game so far so as you can see in the next episode we are going to be playing uh, pretty much the last few games of the season and then we're going to have Ajax as well. Uh, it's going to be really difficult. Uh, I am going to probably play the Brentford match off camera. But the Liverpool match definitely is a must. Has to be recorded. But before you go, remember to please leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Drop some comments below. Uh, what do you think of the Real Madrid performance? Uh, do you think we did really well to turn everything around? Do you think everything was fluky? Uh, was that actually a chop by Vidoni van der Beek? Let me know in the comment sections below and I hope to see you soon. Goodbye for now.